Hi guys, I'm in luck to make another educational video about this error we got on the 2nd of August. If we type update, we get the, to see all this. And the reason I told already in the educational video, which is 2129, I think, and 2130 is a short one, so this will be 2131, is to show you different solution, right? If um, you don't have the dot bin, there is normally a bin and there is a main and there's a fixes and in here somewhere if you've done it right you'll have a fix the keys now if it's not in here it does not mean it's not on your machine so go to etc scale go to bin go to main go to fixes i think fix pacman databases i've got it the solution is on my machine i don't have it on my own personal eric bin why is that because I never typed scale. Boom, there it is, right? What is scale? Alias, oops, scale. It's gonna copy paste everything over from etc scale, but first it's gonna make a backup. That's what it does. So I have my solution. Well, suppose we don't have the solution. Suppose I cannot run this one, which will solve everything you'll see in video 1929, uh, 2129 and 2130. Can I solve it manually without that? Yes, yes, knowledge is power, ETC. Well, first of all, you have to tell the story straight, right? The problem is, that you have an issue with your Pac-Man and that's something you should know, right? Linux repo testing keys on no key ring is not writable. Then you're thinking maybe about Pac-Man and Pac-Man keys and all that. Okay, so if you take a look at the status of the Pac-Man key service, that's the reason why it didn't work because it never got around getting the keys in, initializing the Pac-Man keys and getting all the keys, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Kiltic, none of the keys are in there, right? So that's the thing, the Pac-Man init service. Mm -hmm. Super shift enter, computer, file system. And then we go to etc, just start typing, it's easier, system D. And in here somewhere is the Pac-Man init service various. So etc systemd system Pac-Man init service. And we luckily we have a separate package for it to, to govern it because is the well the heart, I don't know how you should describe it, compare it with a human body, but it's it's important, right? PAMAC is the, your package manager and it initializes a service. And what we've done in the update is get rid of Havaget. Uh, you'll see if you're an Arch ISO uh, connoisseur, right? If you are a builder, then you know that Arch ISO is the core to build an ISO. And in Arch ISO 51, I think it was, that uh, the guys of Arch Linux says, we don't use Havaget anymore. Now, this is our decision. We don't use Pacman D GNU PG mount anymore. The thing is, it has been there like forever, but on the 2nd of August, that is no longer possible, right? So you need to remove this one as well. And this one, well, is good. So we could leave it like this, but a few updates again from Arch ISO, it was also possible to do this. And it will take a look at the folder and whatever's inside, is gonna use it to populate. So Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Celtic will go in there, in there by default. So this is now the new Pac-Man init service that we're gonna use, that we're gonna update, that we're gonna um, yeah, use in the next ISOs, in, in, it's in the next package. All right, so we've done the same work manually. Oh, that's it, Control S, you save it. So it's gonna say, when I boot, one shot, I'm gonna initiate the keys, I'm gonna get all the keys from Arch Linux, Arch Linux, and Chaotix. And there you go, and then you can update your system. Now, 
updating, well, the, the init initializing service is normally done at boot time, right? But I'll can, I can simulate a boot time. So we're gonna ask the status first. Agreed, failed. Then we're gonna restart the face. There's also actually another one. There's another name, but restart will do just fine. Fail to restart. The GNU PG mount is not found. Um, did we not change that? I think we did. So hmm, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid. You need to reboot. Ah, an easier way is just to type Sublime Text. Boom, it's there. So we've saved everything. We're cool. Everything is okay. But it, because of the line there of the GNU PG thing, you need to actually reboot no way around it but this is your solution right this is the manual thing i've done that are now in the packages and many of us will never see the mistake and they'll just update our system and everything will be just fine maybe you can add some one more thing that's um, not included in the previous two videos that we've made an update let's see if i can do an update mm, no i can't so let me fix this with the pin right stay rolling main fixes because i want to share something else that's not in the other videos fix pacman databases and keys Brrrp, all the keys come in the guys from arch the guys from arco and the guys from celtic so then we can update so the new thing that's going to be there is that uh, some time ago, again, Arch Links decided in their Arch ISO relang that have a get is no longer possible. So that's the a possible next message you get when you shut down. You see this red light line have a get uh, service not started properly or something like that. So in the scale, when I do scale, right, stay rolling 2021, this is how we move from one ISO to the other ISO. But the point of Articlinux is that you stay rolling, that you don't install again and again and again. Reinstall is good when you break something, but the point is to just update, update, update. Now, there are changes. So if I do a scale now, oops, then you'll see that there is a new folder going from the ISO of July to the one for September. And the thing we've done there is get rid of Havocat. So on the ISO, they are building at this point in time on my ISO builder, we have disabled Havocat. It's no longer there. It's gonna be removed, removed from the ISO. So if you wanna stay rolling, like really rolling the same, doing the same things as on the ISO, that's the point of staying rolling, to stay as close as possible to what to the decisions we've made for the ISO, right? You run this stay rolling. Now you won't. There's a possibility that you will never have a problem with Havocat, but uh, since the point of the scripts stay rolling is to stay as close to the ISO, right? Then you should run it. You want to keep it. You, you keep it, right? It's just your choice. Google around and have a look what Havocat is all about. The Arch Linux guys decided to get rid of it. At some point in time, you can have, uh, have a look at the Arch ISO updates. All right, so that's new. The Havocat thing, stay rolling. It's gonna go out. We're gonna test it out. Uh, the ISOs are being built as we speak and uh, there is still a lot of time because the release is mid-September, the next one. So. In the meantime, enjoy Arclinics and learn, have fun and enjoy.